There are different bunker buster bombs of different caliber, but what sets it apart from the rest is this GBU-57, which is typically delivered by the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. Due to the bomb's large size and weight, the aircraft can carry only two of these weapons in its bomb bay compartments. While it lacks thrusters, the weapon is equipped with four active lattice fins and a precision guidance system that enables it to glide accurately to its target using military-grade GPS. Constructed from a specially designed high-performance steel alloy, using its weight when falling under gravity to penetrate or dig itself up to 200 feet of underground soil or concrete. We'll also look into the difference between the massive ordnance penetrator and the mother of all bombs with step-by-step -step process of how they work, all in the video ahead. To give you an idea of the varying levels of penetration capability among different bunker buster bombs, let's compare a few examples. First, we have the BLU-109, also pronounced blue. It is a 2,000-pound or bomb developed in the 1970s. This weapon is capable of penetrating approximately 1.8 meters or about 5 feet of reinforced concrete. Next, we move on to the GBU-28, which is equipped with a laser-guided system at its front. This bomb can penetrate to a depth of nearly 6 meters, equivalent to roughly 20 feet, which is as tall as a two-story building. However, neither of these compares to the massive capabilities of the GBU-57, also known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. It can penetrate over 60 meters into the ground, around 200 feet. To put that in perspective, this depth is comparable to the height of a 20-story building depending on the floor heights. These examples demonstrate the significant advancements and differences in penetration levels among these specialized weapons.